feel good vibes and great music. This is Radio 44. Your music, your life. Even the other stations are listening. This is the Morning Mojo with Jeet on Radio 44. As much as we say that we have progressed as human beings, there are still some animalistic parts within us. And one of the things that we should stand up against and speak loud about is gender-based violence. We've heard of stories around Kenya, abroad, about how a lot of people are suffering through this in silence. And today, we want to address that. And we do have two very special people right here in the studio with us. We have Anitya Deepak, the Executive Director of Kenya Women and Children's Wellness Center. And we have Chetna Desai, the Chairperson of Giants Group of Nairobi Twiga. So keep it right here on Radio 44. We're going to have a detailed discussion about gender-based violence and how we can fight this together. Good morning. And this morning, we have Anitya Deepak, the Executive Director of the Kenya Women and Children's Wellness Center, and Chetna Desai. Good morning to both of you. Very good morning. Very wet morning. <laughs> <Right, laughs> indeed. <laughs> indeed. Very good morning. Without any floods and no rains, yes. definitely it's going it feels, to be good. It Everything feels very is good. good. <laughs> yes. Uh, first of all, thank you so much. I know both of you are very busy. So, uh, you know, we're honored to have both of you. I think everyone in the communities know the kind of work that you guys have put out. And it's an honor to have you right here on board with us. It's the same. Your pleasure here. And uh, to be with Radio 44 itself is a... <laughs> A great thing, especially <laughs> in the early morning. Yes. Looking forward for the great show. Thank you. Now, today we are talking about a sensitive topic. We're talking about gender based violence. Uh, Anitya, could you explain what exactly gender based violence is? Uh, if we talk about gender based violence, gender based violence is uh, m more of uh, domestic violence, physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, which are really a concern. And if we see our society, initially, whatever, if we were thinking of abuse, it is more of women. Mm. But if we see See, currently even the men are affected okay. but and the percentage gap between the women and the men is really five percent to two percent which is again very alarming okay. that initially we were going on the women's side and mm. now on the men's side so, so the society is anyway need to align that it is the abuse which is wrong right I it like is not related to gender it is the abuse which is wrong we have to tell our upcoming generation about the same i i like yeah. the fact that you also mentioned emotional because a lot of people think uh, when they think gender-based violence they're only thinking physical but emotional as well yes true it is more of a mental state it's more of a emotional and which is really becoming difficult to treat at times also mm. because they are emotionally so shattered mm. and if they are su suffering from any domestic any injuries that also becomes very difficult because they lose all hope Indeed. so we need to uplift them to that state that okay no there is something beyond this also and we are there and usually it happens in closed doors it is never an open and okay. they don't know where to whom to confide to that's where we come in that we are there for you we are there to help you and whatever we state you are in we will provide you the support Excellent. in terms of medical in terms of counseling everything and also financial independence excellent now uh you know of course this is a very very dangerous thing but how how does it affect communities communities of course um as as a community when one person uh, is affected by physical violence or uh, mental trauma it affects the entire uh, family hmm. family goes to the community community goes to the society society goes to the country and to the globe so when one person is affected by any sort of violence maybe it could be vi uh, physical or it could be mental it affects the entire globe Hmm. So if we compile together that when we get this type of uh, problems, how, how the community can come over it? How can the community help them? How can the community support them? And that's why, like, like giants, we are, we are associated with more than 30,000 
local people all around Kenya. Hmm. So all those, if you can imagine all those 30,000 people, if they have any problem or any this type of um, violence happening, they can come to us and we can guide them to the GBV center. Because uh, that's why, that's how we have connected with them. Indeed. We have already get the uh, context, we are already there on the field hmm. and uh, definitely to come over this uh, everyone has to join together hmm. including the social media and including the radio stations like you hmm. to bring the awareness that, that's our main motto that yes there is a help available there are people who are there to support you excellent excellent so we will be back uh, you can get into the conversation on 0758123444 if you have any questions please do send them over In case you've just tuned in, we are talking about gender-based violence. So let's go straight back into it. Uh, Anithya, if you could tell me what the root cause of gender-based violence is, that would be helpful. Yeah, surely the gender-based violence is more of a socio-economic. It has been observed that it is uh, like a lower uh, economic conditions and financial conditions lead to those things. And also lack of education where mm. people are not even aware of um, education really brings that uh, upliftment mm. and gender equality, the inequality rather, mm. I would say. And because where we say that, okay, the man is responsible for bringing the things to inside and where the woman is only a home or something it has definitely it has been initial times it might be good but now at the current situation it has really deviated yes. to where uh, the uh, the status and uh, living has increased mm. so mm. where husband and wife they both have to take care of the family and also the house and also outside mm. and the things have changed yeah. so it's more uh, initially it used to be like masculinity uh, is more or uh, related to earning yes. and also bringing the status and uh, with that dominance mm. and since he was the earning member so he was the one okay. taking all the decisions for the family yeah fully so, in control Correct. yeah full yeah. in control so initially the wives were not taken in consent but though the things are changing but still it is existing in many of the places and right. also the lower income group mm. and um, definitely aware awareness is not there and uh, it people are not a, uh, ready to talk about it okay. exactly. to be very frank uh, people are not open to they maybe they don't know whom to confide to mm. these are not taken outside because of the sto social stigma mm. uh, because if they discuss that my husband has beaten me or yes my husband is abusing me so they are not getting and uh, they're not uh, even taking a uh, psycho uh, like you know a uh, help from a mm. doctor mm. or a counselor uh, maybe if somebody is getting really aggressive mm -hmm. in, at home, whether it could be any and it's uh, leading to any kind of disturbance in the family, people are not going out to seek help. Yeah. So I think that is the main reason. Um, it's more of a circumstantial, but that emotional trauma leads to the whole life, you know, Indeed. it impacts the whole life. It also affects, uh, like Chetna has rightly said, it also affects the family, it affects the society, it affects the future. The, the, the future. future. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. Uh, and, and, you know, so you're the executive director of Kenya Women's and Children's Wellness Center. So can you tell me a little more about it? What exactly do you do? Uh, Kenya Women and Children Center uh, Wellness Center is basically rescue. Mm -hmm. We rescue the survivors. Okay. We work with the stakeholders. Stakeholders means uh, police and hospitals and NGOs where we come across anybody suffering. And also we have a helpline. We provide them with virtual uh, counseling and also we rescue them if somebody has really suffered. We give them food and shelter accommodation. So we have a nice shelter home and um, then we give them medical okay uh, medical facilities facility we yeah. give them and we provide them with a very serene atmosphere where they recover fast because we have seen their recovery with a good uh, amount of food given and medical care comprehensive care given both in terms of um, uh, like you know daycare yeah. and also medical it has we have seen a like and counseling has we have seen a remarkable improvement indeed because in them. i've seen and you know when i when i looked at your center 
it's it's such a relaxing place oh it's so a rain the Healing environment gardens. is so different that yeah. someone who's been through that trauma comes over there and they feel like they're in paradise they apart from the safe. apart from the physical appearance of the center love and warmth yes yeah. that also counts a big that also plays a big role in it's it's what they've yeah. been missing in their yes. lives correct yeah. and they feel f- so safe and secure and what we try to heal them cleanse them heal them and bring them hope to them that okay correct. there is a world behind beyond this beyond so this. don't mm. restrict yourself with that event or that happening or that thing there is something beyond so we are bringing hope to them we are mm. bringing that we have so many ways so uh, we also bring skill development mm-hmm. we are working on skill development so mm-hmm. we are introducing like swing classes Excellent. baking classes and also other uh, awareness so that they know that oh they can do this and they feel so excited Beautiful. that oh we can do <laughs> that yeah no and it's it's also you know creating a potential career for them yes we yeah, have to so because financial stability definitely brings in Mm. So mm. recently as Jan Striga we have donated uh, five swing machines uh, uh, to KWCWC and they are training them and they can start earning their own income they can go back to the society and financial independence is a, a very important and uh, me as a professional baker mm. i've already given my f- um, uh, words that i'm going to go and teach them baking bake the cakes and make sense of it so develop their skills develop excellent the skills right excellent okay we will be back and uh, in fact we want to know more about giants so we're taking a short break and we'll be back with this Anitha you know it's it's yeah. r- been really beautiful uh you know hearing more and more about your wellness center uh where exactly is it located though Uh we are located on the USIU campus. Okay. And uh, from Thika Road it's Mirema Drive off Northern Bypass. We Excellent. are located there. Yeah. Okay. So and I, I and I love the fact that it's a sanctuary. That's the way I see it's it. It's a beautiful it place is. one must. Yeah. Um, visit. I think I think one day we should plan. We we should actually come and pay you a visit. Yeah. It'll be beautiful. Yeah. Uh now on to you. Uh Chetna, if you could tell us, you know, I mean, we've all heard about giants. Okay? Oh, it's really? Of that's course. A, yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, but what exactly is giants? What's the purpose? Oh, uh, thank you very much. Um Can you believe this is our 40th anniversary coming up in May? Wow. Mm-hmm. So we are completing 40 good years so as good. a giants tree guy. Congratulations. Yeah. And um uh, there are only few members who are from starting okay so we have few members who are still there started at the, as a founder member okay jain striga yeah it's it's a very um, i would say uh, when when we talk about the technical word it's a known uh, ngo okay any problems any uh, need people reach out to us hmm. and it's it's not um, specific uh, people it's for the entire kenyan understood so anyone not only kenyans even we have some people from outside kenya okay. from tanzania from uganda from any xyz countries and we always welcome them and the head office of giants twiga is in mumbai based okay yeah so china Ch- uh, china nc is right now mm. is our world chairperson okay. and recently um, when we were talking about kerala i visited to yes. random uh, for the international convention of okay. giants convention and uh, fortunately giants twiga we got seven awards oh, international beautiful. awards just wow, recently yes. thank you so our ongoing projects uh, we have several projects which are ongoing mm-hmm. i will just quickly say the wo- the figure which which make a big impact okay like uji feeding we have got 20000 students and till now 30 million cups of uji we have served 30 million cups wow education uh, is our keyword yeah so whatever is to do with education we will do it we have renovated uh, so many schools and these are all like a government schools and niji schools and not only in nairobi outside nairobi mm. we go to the remote area mm. we have set up chemistry labs mm. so many we have libraries 191 libraries with average of 600 books in each library in just 2 years that is absolutely beautiful i mean you've li- literally taken education mm. to another level with correct that. yeah so if if people will read they They'll will be, be informed, informed. Educated. and educated and this gender based will be little bit subside 
I, I completely agree with you because the more knowledge and knowledgeable you are, the, you know, because we as humans, you know, as much as we try to deny it, the, we do have the animalistic side in us and it is getting information, education that Correct. sort of removes that side out of us. Exactly. True. Beautiful. Uh, blankets, 150,000 blankets we have delivered hand to hand. Okay. In just last two years. Beautiful, beautiful. Ration pack, um, uh, as uh, COVID started, everyone was in need of food. Whatever you do, but food was a must. Yes. Correct. So we have distributed 220,000 food packets, one by one, in by hand. By hand. We have not sent it by courier or by bags or even in the peak of the COVID, our people were traveling. Beautiful. With all the masks and PPE kits and <laughs> yes, everything, yes. but luckily yes we could manage that mm -hmm. sanitary towels is our um, very good project and which is uh, touching to my heart and yes. uh, i was the one who initiated that project okay uh, six thousand goals are under this project since last 10 years okay and 10 million pads have been distributed till now that is Wow, that is yeah it, absolutely it's, it's all in big figure yeah i can clearly see that right and uh, yes, uh, during COVID, we have um, uh, distributed thermal guns to 7,500 medical centers mm -hmm. and oximeters to 10,000 centers as well. Recently, we have established playgrounds for um, uh, the schools, mm -hmm. and which is like for their physical fitness, for their entertainment. And recently, we have also done one at KWCWC yeah. when the oh. ladies comes, they comes with the children. So yeah, okay. So Whenever there's nothing they else to do. Out. Very yeah. thoughtful, right? Mm -hmm. So they don't have to focus on the children. Yeah. Correct. So Excellent. we have uh, set up um, a special playground there, mm -hmm. and especially that's for my own family. Okay. And uh, my one of my sister uh, is in UK, so she has also supported this project. Oh, that's very benevolent. Yeah. Basketball pitch we have done, and uh, school fees to the specially challenged uh, children, children, and which advertisement comes in nation media, nation newspaper every Tuesday. Beautiful. And we are reaching out to that. And the la latest we have done is uh, artificial limbs. Till yes. now, in just in one and a half year, we have fitted 2,500 limbs. Wow. And that is all from all over Kenya, and especially those are like Boda Boda drivers who got yes. into the accidents. Yes. And uh, drivers as well. And even, even that also connects to the physical violence. Yes, That's, uh, indeed. Gender yeah. violence, because they have some limbs which has been destroyed. Yes, yes. Yeah, so we are trying to, we are uh, getting them together. We take the measurement, we send it to India. And then they come and fit it. So it's like a make to measure. Beautiful. So these are our main projects and they're all ongoing. Beautiful. And uh, we are uh, so happy to reach out to our Kenyans. Excellent. Excellent work. All right. We will be back shortly. Uh, right now, going back into the hits. <laughs> now, of course, having both of you team up it's something spectacular so what exactly is the purpose of your collaboration um, as Kenya women and children wellness center I would uh, we collaborated just to reach out to communities there are people who don't even know that uh, such a beautiful facility exists mm. and also in case of uh, any survivors we uh, they seek help they can reach out to us for any diverse culture anything mm. they can reach out to us we are there we maintain the confidentiality and everything and yet provide them proper counseling and also reintegrate them to the society, society. back ah. because unless we don't bring them back to the society our purpose is not sorted so yeah they they you're not alienating them yeah so the purpose is to in reintegrate them with that dignity and respect to be maintained hmm. and that confidence to be maintained so they are fine we have done that uh, over a period of time reintegrating them and they are living happily and this thing and also we give them legal support witness protection Excellent. protection all those things are given hmm. so giants and we come together to make awareness about us to reaching out to communities to make them that such facility exists to come up to help us whatever support they can give and yes visit us and understand what we are what kind of work we are doing 
Hmm. Yeah, as as giants, you know, we are already established since last forty years, and we have a very big network. Yes, people know about it. So in that way, we can we can pass on that awareness, pass on this message to the people who are in need, and they can come to us, and we can direct them to the KWCWC, and that's where we have collaborated together. And as education, I've already mentioned that that's our keyword, yes. and which is already which is exactly what we need to go on this. We have three T's we are working on right. now for this particular uh, uh, collaboration is time 100% of our members are uh, free voluntary job if you we have a 0% admin cost right. so time training and technology okay. all these three t's we are working on right now as we have collaborated with kwcws excellent excellent and i think this is uh, this is a phenomenally beautiful collaboration because you see uh, there's so many people out there this day and age who are struggling who are suffering in silence and i think uh, as we've discussed education very important it's it's a preventative measure and uh, what what you're doing at kwcwc is more of curing we hope that one day it'll reach a point where no one would have to go through this kind of pain correct true and you'll this be surprised like, it's yeah. it's not a community based it's not a religious based it's not age bar yes it's it's everywhere and everywhere so i have a, a question before we you know part ways now if someone has a problem how yes. can they reach out to you and be part of the center uh, we have a toll free number and also we have our numbers and websites so mm-hmm. they can just call us and uh, even we receive calls at midnight and odd hours we just reach out to them we uh, give them counseling and we direct them okay and also we are working with police and uh, st- many stakeholders with hospitals and ngos anywhere they can just reach out to us they'll come to us we'll give them bring them in a very safe environment Excellent. and that's when we start our work then excellent yeah. in the group like ours as well if you are okay. aware about trans please yeah. get to us and okay. we, t- we will definitely direct and we'll be happy to help them excellent i think both of you are heroes to oh, be honest thank you. i mean <laughs> thank no no you so seriously much. you know uh making an impact like this is not easy of course the journey has not been easy for both of you and yet here you are doing something absolutely beautiful making mankind believe in mankind again keep up the great work but we want community to come along and work because together we can bring a change in the society and we can shift the this thing yes. we want to reduce and it right and radio 44 and we thank give you. a lot of credit to radio 44 thank to have you. us here thank as well <laughs> we'll be there with you thank you so much and have a beautiful day ahead thank, thank you. you thank you thanks the hits you love feel good vibes and great music this is radio 44 your music your life even the other stations are listening